Samsung is back guys with One UI 6 Beta 5 and honestly the, the tech scene never really stops to amaze me. Now just take a look at this guys. Recently iPhone 15 series just become laughing stock with uh, yeah you know like overheating and maybe other good things overheating. Yeah, well of course <laughs> Things like that, right? And also, people are very surprised to, to just find out that apparently the USB-C port is made in China. Well, who would have thought? I mean, okay, come on. But Samsung, right? Samsung is really trying to stay in competition. So they released today the ZWIK. This is a screenshot from my dear friend, Ross. Go follow him. He creates nice quality content. 750 megabytes with bug fixes. And I know people have been screaming, call recording didn't work in beta 4, now it's fixed. Also, Things like motion photo are fixed and other things are fixed, but who cares? This video is shot by me to only show you one and one thing only. The animations and of course this beautiful wallpaper. I know you're gonna ask me, guys, just go and download the wall rod application. It's there on the Play Store, beautiful animated wallpapers, really handcrafted by Matthias Eckert. This is not sponsored, this guy's really good. Just go and download it. And now enough is enough, guys. I'm gonna give you a pure walk 4K 60 FPS, One AI 6 Beta 5 animation, starting with the lock screen and the always on display. And of course, if you don't like my commentary, just, just mute me. All right, you can just watch the video on mute, but if you want to just, really hear what I have to say, then you're more than welcome to stay. And if you're here for the first time, you're coming from Twitter or X or whatever, Telegram, guys, sub for the channel. It's not exclusive to Samsung right now. This is the hype, so this is really what I'm interested in. My question is, is Samsung going to finally update the One UI 6 animation and at least make them on par with what we see in One UI 5.1.1, which is again, now non-linear, which kind of means it's not like the Apple iOS animations. I just try to explain it like for, normal people, like non-nerd people, right? So apparently the animations if One UI 5.1.1 are a bit better, right? And they're a bit more smoother and the stutters are gone. Now, let's see how they did it here in the One UI 6 Beta 5. So, always on display, all right? I'm just gonna try to unlock my phone. Double tap, always on display. One click will bring me back to the lock screen. So this is here the transition between the always on display and the lock screen. Now guys, usually I would pay attention to what will happen on the background. For example, when I'm just opening a folder, right? What is happening? Is the background like zooming in, zooming out? Also, do we have like a blur effect? Also, when I'm just pulling the curtain, like things like this, it's usually things I'm looking for. And also when I open applications and I try to scroll and I exit application, is it smooth? All right, or when I, let's say, rotate the phone, we are looking here for everything that we can nitpick and say, ooh, Samsung, you're doing a terrible job. Oh, how is it possible 1,500 euro for a flagship phone and still it's bad. And I have to agree, guys, if you really pay that price, you would expect this phone to be flawless. But nowadays, thanks to our good friends from Cupertino, we know that there are no flawless phones, even the ones that are so expensive. So back to the topic here, let's now check what happens when we just navigate. So, okay, I'm just going to open the app drawer, search everything, all the applications. One more time, app drawer. All right, where are my applications, guys? They are here. Okay, one more time. Going back to the recent menu, I have 1000 apps that are open. I'm not gonna close them for now, but let's check what happens with the recent menu, okay? Make sure to check what happens on the background. Is the background zooming in, zooming out, okay? Or only blur effect. As we can see, there are probably are no zooming effects. Okay, what happens? We have some active settings, active background activity, some work stuff. Pay attention to what will happen now when I'm just going inside the volume rocker, okay? Weather, let's start some widgets, okay? Let's start also this, okay? Let's also open the Spotify widget, okay? Now, going back to the home screen now, let's open some folders. Folder opening. Let's open some apps, okay? I'm gonna open some apps. I'm gonna just try to scroll down a bit. Let's open X, all right? One more time, X, one more time, all right? Let's open also Instagram, try to scroll down a bit. Go to the left where we have the camera. Took a while, hi guys, thanks for the sub. Switching to the back camera, all right, minimizing. Let me just do it one more time. Opening, all right, opening Snapchat, opening Instagram. Just gonna do some random stuff, random people are doing, okay. Now, camera, 
All right. It's not ideal, guys, but I'll guess it's probably been worse. But so far, no major stutters. Okay, I'll just do 10 like this. Two, three. All right. Okay, not that bad. Now let's just go and do like this. All right, and while we're there, of course, also try to access the... Uh, okay, yeah. Not ideal, I guess, as well, but all right. What happens here with the curtain? Okay. You, by the way, know in Y96 there is the settings. Now, first to unravel just some part of the quick settings with the notifications, but then here directly go and unravel everything. So this is more like MIUI iOS original style. <laughs> okay, what do I mean? Here, we'll get notification and a bit of this. If I swipe from here, boom, directly to the main screen. Now, guys, I want to show you also some settings inside. So settings, this icon is different. This icon is different for sure. All right, let's just go and show you the battery. So they brought some stuff back. For example, if I'm to hit the view details on the battery, I'm able to see last charging information, or at least it was there some time ago when I checked. Battery usage, stopped charging 40 minutes ago, last charge, okay, you have this regular option to protect the battery. And of course, do you have also charging settings, the regular stuff. Now, what is interesting is I cannot longer see mm -hmm, uh, the light mode versus uh, the performance mode, but we can probably still access them from here. So power saving, it's one thing. And the other thing will be the light and the performance mode, which I am not able to see. So, oh, it's probably gone. Yep, something new in this bed, I guess. This performance mode is not there. So just to be sure, guys, let's just check for performance. No, it's not yet there. But all right, let's just open some more application. Mixcloud, all right, open Spotify. So far, so good, I would say. Okay, now let's just try to open some games and just see what will happen. Uh, for that, I am going to use the game launcher. Probably one of the most hated software, nobody's using that, but I think it's good for, I mean, launching your game. So what should we open, guys? Okay, let's open some games my kids play. All right. Okay, loading the game. I wanna see what happens when I go outside, when I go inside. All right, outside. Okay, now a test like this. Yeah, I mean, not that bad, I would say. Some more rotations. By the way, check this game. It's an old one. Odyssey, it runs 120 hertz. I know that guys are hyped. You can now record 120 hertz videos with the built-in screen recorder, which is still something. Of something I'm interested, I am going to go to the wallpaper and style. Hmm, the color palette, guys. Let's see how much. Yeah, still the same situation there. Now, something important. Let's just jump very quickly to the dark mode. Okay, so this is light mode, dark mode. Can't pretty much tell the difference so much. Uh, and when you're inside the settings, apparently you have this very black part and then of course like even very dark gray. So I, I kind of like it, but there are really people that prefer whole black. I do have a feeling that you can modify this via the settings inside. By the way, let's just check how this works. Okay, so let me open a split window configuration with Telegram and with X. Ooh, Telegram quite nice, X not so nice. Well, one more time. Uh, let me just try to flip those. Yeah, I mean, it's still okay. And uh, now go full size like this. All right, let's try to put this in a pop-up window, guys. This is also something that counts. All right, this is the animation. One last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna test some of the stock Samsung application to check the animations. Then we can also open the gallery. And of course the camera, now that's the camera. Gallery, all right. Gallery, one more time. Okay, camera. That's the dialer gallery. All right. And that's the dialer. And then let me just open, for example, the clock. Wow, that's quite fast. And of course, last but not least, the weather widgets. So guys, this is One UI 6 Better 5 animation, 4K 60 FPS. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And don't forget to sub for more than this. BST over.